Okay, so let's try the experiment. Here's the um, piece of toast. Now we're going to butter it on one side, like that. We just have to put a little bit on so you can see which is the butter side, the other side's plain. Right, here we are. It's coming over the side of the uh, kitchen top, goes over. So I got involved in all this uh, as a result of reading a letter one day in a science magazine where a reader had written in saying, has anyone noticed how if you have a book and you push it with your finger over the edge of a table that it breaks into a spin and always ends up face down? Well, I thought, well, this sounds like it could be related to the whole question of whether it's true that toast, when it slides off a plate, um, tends to land butter side down, what we call Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong, it will go wrong. But the only way to, to find out for sure was to try what the chap had suggested in the magazine. So I just got a paperback book, put it on the edge of the table, pushed it over the edge, and sure enough, it just ends up face down. It seems very straightforward. And that was came as a bit of a shock to me because I had believed, I guess like most scientists up until then, that when toast slides off a plate, that there's a 50-50 chance of it landing butter side down. It was like a coin toss. But then I realised that, well, when we're dealing with toast at breakfast time, we don't usually go around throwing it into the air like a coin, watching it tumble and land on the ground. It does tend to slide off a plate or off a table. And that's a completely different type of physics and leads to a completely different type of outcome. So I decided to do some calculations and they suggested that yes, it was in fact true. Uh, that toast really does have a tendency to land butter side down. Here's a diagram showing what happens at the moment the piece of toast just goes over the edge of, well, there's a table here or it could be a plate. Here are the various forces at work uh, and the spin rate, uh, gravity working there. And you end up with all these complicated equations, uh, which ends up with a prediction for how fast the piece of toast spins. And that's where you end up with the conclusion that the toast doesn't spin fast enough to make it come butter side up again by the time it hits the floor. Here we are, it's coming over the side of the uh, kitchen top, goes over, lands butter side down. Can we do it one more time, please? Yeah. Okay, and exactly the same thing happens if you're You've made your piece of toast, you've buttered it, and you're walking back to the table, uh, to your own table, not paying attention, and the toast starts to go over the edge. Exactly the same phenomenon, lands butter side down. Amazing how it works. Yes, well, it's the laws of physics for you, isn't it? Okay, so as we've seen, toast tends to land butter side down when it slides off a plate at the sort of normal height that we carry it. So the question then becomes, well, what sort of height do we need for it to land butter side up again? Well, we've got to give it enough time to do that complete rotation. And the only way we can do that is to put it way over our head. So here's the same piece of toast, buttered on one side, plain on the other, put it on the plate. And we'll hold it way up here. Mm -hmm. Let it slide. It's coming off the side of the plate. There it goes, and it lands butter side up this time, because it did have enough time to complete a full 360 degree rotation under the laws of gravity. Cool. Right, so for humans to avoid getting this um, butter side down um, phenomenon, they would have to be much taller than the average human, about three metres, something like that, uh, before toast would have enough time to spin and bring the butter side back up again. And the fact of the matter is, there's a maximum height that we can be as humans. So we can see that the fundamental reason that toast lands butter side down is because of a combination of the strength of gravity and the strength of those chemical bones. Now, the strengths of those two chemical forces and, and gravitational forces were set very early on in the history of the universe, a, 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 a split second after the Big Bang itself. And there's no way that we humans can avoid it. As humans, we're pretty much doomed to suffer the fate of watching toast land butter side down because we can't be tall enough 
to give toast enough time to come butter side up again by the time it hits the floor. We're stuck with it. Well, there are various ways in which you could avoid this problem. One way would be to cut your toast into much smaller pieces so that the rotation rate is that much quicker. Uh, another way to do it is, uh, as, the, as you notice that your toast is beginning to slide off the plate, is to very quickly pull the plate from underneath it. And that stops it breaking into a spin. It will just stay butter side up. And, and, just, and just descend to the floor before it's got time to break into that lethal spin that causes all the trouble. And that would be my recommendation. That and just be more careful.